to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast, the show that helps you know what to say when you're talking to buyers and sellers so that you can close more deals and earn more money. I'm Darren Tunstall, a real estate professional, coach, and number one best-selling author. Let's get into this. Before we begin today's episode, I want to clarify some important points. I am a licensed real estate agent and my DRE number is 01853445. It's crucial to note that this podcast operates independently of my affiliation with Keller Williams Realty and any realtor associations. My primary goal with this podcast is to provide you, our listeners, with valuable information, insights, and practical tools. As a reminder, the purpose of scripts and dialogues is to come, learn, practice, and be prepared to fail forward. This is where we make mistakes and help each other out, but we're mostly interested in seeing how we can get better. First, we read through the script word for word, and then we go back and put it into our own natural tone, style, and phrasing. You won't know what to say until you go through the script. So with that said, many people will say, that's not how I sound, and I totally get it. That's not how you sound. But that is the reason why we practice every day so that the script becomes you and in your own voice. So read it word for word first, then go back and put it into your own natural tone, style, and phrasing. And I think it'll work out. All right. So again, we are on week eight going over lead generation. We're specifically talking about for sale by owners. And I'll go ahead and set this up. So this one's titled leave business cards with a for sale by owner. In this scenario, you're engaging with for sale by owners. Your goal is to lead your business card with the homeowner and establish a mutually beneficial relationship. The requirements are confidence to approach FISBOs, because it takes a lot of that, and then to effective communication skills, professional appearance and demeanor, and a willingness to assist homeowners with their questions. The intention is to establish a connection with the FISBO or for sale by owner offer assistance with potential buyers, and leave behind contact information for future collaboration. Uh, And one note, because this has happened multiple times, I'll just say, when we're talking to homeowners, don't call them FISBO. You know, (laughs) hey, you're a FISBO. (laughs) You know, um, let's spell it out. You're a for sale by owner, and that's what they are, right? So, um, and it's the same for all acronyms, by the way. You know, if you're talking about NAR, CAR, all of them, you know, say it out loud because they might not know what that means. All right. So let's go ahead and break us out. All right. So are you ready? Yeah, I sure. Of course as you're ready, ready as I'll ever be. Yes, you are. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make sure we track the time. So you, we already set this up. So when you're ready, go ahead. Okay. Hi there. My name is Stephanie and I'm with Keller Williams Signature San Diego. I've driven by your home several times and I've noticed that you're selling it by yourself. Um, yeah, I I am. What's, what's going on? Well, I'm hoping that we might be able to help each other. You want to sell your house and I want to find new clients. I consider, okay. okay. (laughs) Yeah, go ahead. Uh, All right. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I consider myself the go-getter age. I'm, I'm sorry, the go-to agent in this neighborhood, and I really respect that you're taking on the sale by yourself. I'm curious, what do you do with potential buyers who aren't quite the right fit? Um, I mean, well, if they're not a fit, then they're not a fit. That's why I'm here. I'd like to leave you with a stack of my business cards. When a potential buyer stops by to view your home, would you be open to giving them one of my cards? This way, if your home isn't right for them, I can help them find a home that matches their needs. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess it's a, I, I, I think, yeah, I guess so. Um, awesome. Thank you so much. In return for your help with the business cards, I'm available to answer any questions you might have about the process of selling your home. Whether it's pricing, paperwork, or anything else, I'm here to assist you. Hmm. Um, okay, well, I think that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I, mean, I might be able to help you out. Awesome. So we have a deal to help each other out. I guess so. <laughs> Thank you so much. I look forward to assisting you 
and my potential buyers who come your way. All right. Well, thank you for calling. I appreciate all your assistance. And yeah, I'll give them your business cards if, if they're not a fit. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. So pretty easy conversation for a FISBO, right? Mm -hmm. Or a for sale by owner, you know, and that is done by design uh, because I want everybody to be in the right frame of mind of winning, 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 winning. If we practice just constant objection, constant losing, then you're going to go into these conversations thinking that you're losing, right? right? If you, so I want to make them more positive. We'll do it a second time around again so that we can do a little bit of pushback. Good morning, Julianne. How are you? Morning. Good. Thank you. My computer is a little slow. So if the video goes out, I'm still here. Um, so we could still role play. Okay, if cool. Right on. So are you on week eight? Are you ready to go for the for sale by owners? Yes, I do have leave business cards with a for sale by owner. Yep. That's okay. the one. So cool. Stephanie just started. So if you want to pick up and be the agent and she can be your for sale by owner, that'll be awesome. Okay. I'll give it a try. Yep, when you're ready. Okay. Um, knock, knock, knock. Hello? Hi. Hi there. My name is Julianne with Keller Williams, and I've driven by your home several times and noticed that you're selling it by yourself. Yes, I I, I am. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping we can help each other. You want to sell your house, and I want to find new clients. Mm hmm. Well, I, I consider myself the go to agent in this neighborhood, and I really respect that you're taking on the sale yourself. And I'm just curious, what do you do with potential buyers who aren't quite the right fit? If they're not the right fit, they're not the right fit. Well, that's why I'm here. So I'd like to leave you with a stack of my business cards. And when a potential buyer stops by to view your home, would you be open to be, would you be open to giving them one of them one of my cards? Um, this way, if your home isn't the right fit for them, I can help them find a home that matches their needs. Hmm. Interesting. And in return for your help with the business cards, I'm available to answer any questions you might have about the process of selling your home, whether it's pricing, paperwork, or anything else. I'm here to assist you. Huh. That does sound interesting. Okay, great. So do we have a deal to help each other out? Yeah, I, I don't see the harm in that. Yeah, why not? Okay, well, thank you so much. I look forward to assisting you and any potential buyers who come your way. Thanks. Welcome. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Julianne. <laughs> there you um, go. <laughs> you waking up and practicing. <laughs> your acting skills isn't this great <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's yeah. just having the words is so helpful um it's not knowing what to say i think when you first meet someone and you're just nervous of what to say it it definitely helps yeah i, I mean with in this particular case you know it's hard enough just to knock on a door sometimes to talk to people you don't know right you know, and but if you go there with purpose in from a place of contribution, look, I'm not trying to sell your house, right? You know, I'm just saying the people that you're meeting, what do you what do you do with them when they don't when they don't have an agent, when they're not represented? Are you just walking them, you know, telling them to leave and they just go away? Mm -hmm. You know, and in this case, at least you can get some opportunity to represent one of the buyers. As well, mm -hmm. who, by the way, might be also a seller too. Right. You never know because some people need to sell based on contingency. Mm -hmm. um, simultaneously, while we're going through this process, we hope to help the seller through their scenario. And a lot of times they find out that it's super crazy difficult and need a professional to handle the, the business for them. Mm -hmm. And that's where you step in and say, yeah, let's work something out. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I like it. Awesome. All right. Let's do it again. But well, we're going to do it. We're going to give a little bit of push act, put it in your own words. Right. So not too mean. 
<laughs> but a little bit of pushback. All right, Stephanie, when you're ready. Hi there. My name is Stephanie, and I'm with uh, San Diego uh, Signature, Keller Williams. I've driven by your home several times, and I've noticed that you're selling it by yourself. Uh, yes, I am. Awesome. Well, I'm hoping that we can help each other. You want to sell your house, and I want to find new clients. Right. Okay. I consider myself the go-to agent in this neighborhood, and I really respect that you're taking on the sale by yourself. I'm curious, what do you do with potential buyers who aren't quite the right fit? Well, if they're not a fit, they're just not a fit. Okay. Well, that's why I'm here. Um, I'd like to leave you with a stack of my business cards. And when a potential buyer comes in to view your home, would you be open to giving them one of my cards? This way, if your home isn't the right fit for them, I can help them find a home that matches their needs. Yeah, I, I think so. Awesome. Okay. Um, in return for your help with the business cards, if I'm able to answer any questions you might have about the process of selling your home along the way, whether it's pricing, paperwork, or anything else, I'm here to assist you. Hmm. Okay, sounds good. So do we have a deal to help each other out? Sure. Awesome. Thank you so much, Julianne. I really look forward to assisting you and any potential buyers who come in um, to view your home um, along the way. Great. Nice to meet you, Stephanie. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Stephanie, I mean, uh, Julianne, you're a, you're a really nice for sale by owner. I know. There was no <laughs> pushback. <laughs> Yeah. All right. we'll well, give it's you... hard to be it's hard to be mean to such a pleasant person like stephanie She's, she has a great approach <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right and it's not about being mean or you know i've always said about objections and you'll find that when we uh, practice objections either for buyer or a seller an objection isn't somebody who's just being mean it's somebody who's really has questions and mm -hmm. wants to have a conversation and get clarity on that that's the approach and the perspective that we take when we're practicing on objections versus because the other way, and this is what I've known all all my life, basically, that when somebody is objecting to something, it's because I've been conditioned to think like they're just they're just mad. They're just, you know, angry at you for knocking on my door. How dare you? Right. But mm -hmm. if we think about it from a different perspective, they just don't know and they have questions. It makes the conversation yeah. a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Julianne, you're the agent and Stephanie is your hard-nosed, hardcore for sale by owner. She's going to rock your world <laughs> when you're ready. <laughs> okay. Let me breathe first. <laughs> uh, okay, knock, knock. Hi there. My name is Julianne with Keller Williams. Um, and I'm driven by your home several times and noticed that you're selling it by yourself. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, I'm hoping we can help each other. Um, you're looking to sell your house and I'm I want to find new clients. Oh, okay. Well, I consider myself the go-to agent in this neighborhood, and I really respect that you're taking on the sale by yourself. And just curious, what do you do with potential buyers who aren't quite the right fit for you? If they're not a fit, they're not a fit. Well, that's why I'm here. I'd like to leave you with a stack of my cards. And when a potential buyer stops by to view your home, would you be open to get, be giving them one of my cards? And that way, if the home isn't the right fit for them, I can help them find a home that matches their needs. Well, I don't want to, I don't know you and what kind of a realtor you are. Um, so, I feel weird giving them cards for somebody that I've never worked with. Oh, I can understand that. Um, well, in return for your help with the business cards, um, I'm always available to answer any questions you might have about the process of selling your home. Uh, if you have any questions about pricing, paperwork, or anything else, I'm here to help you. Hmm. You would, you would do that without asking for a commission? 
No, i uh, just here to help you. Um, just free to answer any questions you have. Will we have a deal to help each other out? Hmm. You know, that doesn't sound so bad. Sure. Sure. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Um, I look forward to assisting you and any potential buyers who come your way. All right. Thanks so much, Julian. You're welcome, Stephanie. Look forward to hearing from you. All right. So I love how you dealt with that objection which was you just continued on with the script mm -hmm. which was look you know she was kind of giving a little bit of pushback but you kept on like this is what we're going to do i'm just going to help you no pressure i like that you know people don't want to be pressured mm -hmm. they just don't want to be all right we're gonna do it again um i'm gonna be the fizzbo for you and uh so when you're ready you knock on my door stephanie each of you are gonna go okay Hi there. My name is Stephanie Grennan, and I'm with Keller Williams. I've driven by your home several times, and I've noticed that you're selling it by yourself. Um, that's right. I sure am. How can I help you? Well, I'm hoping that we can help each other. Um, you want to sell your house, and I am looking to find new clients. Yeah, I, I do want to sell my house, and I, 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 you know, I wanted to do it on my own, but I'm not looking for an agent right now. You know what? I totally understand. Um, I consider myself the go-to agent in this neighborhood, and I really respect that you're taking on the sale yourself. Um, I'm curious, what do you do with potential buyers who aren't quite the right fit for your home? Well, I mean, if they're not the right fit, then they're not the right fit. But I, I'm kind of curious to know, I mean, if you're the go-to agent, then how come I've never seen your name or signs or anything like that in the area? Well... I work with more buyers right now than sellers, um, which is why I'm here. Um, I'd like to leave you with a stack of my business cards. And when mm -hmm. a potential buyer stops by to view your home, um, would you be willing to give out one of my cards? This way, oh, I... if your home isn't the right fit for them, I can help them find a home that matches their needs. I mean, I guess that's fair. You know, so if you're not selling a lot of homes here so um yeah i mean i i might be able to work with you i guess it's a good idea oh thank you so much and in return for your help with the business cards i'm available to answer any questions you might have a lot about the process of selling your home along the way whether it's pricing paperwork or anything else i'm here to assist you oh that's cool what do you think my home is worth right now you think i got a price well right now well I would um I would have to do some homework on the back end and come in to um do a site vi visit um before I can give you a, a good pricing. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I mean, I just kind of based it off of what I see on Redfin, Zillow, things like that. Um, I don't know. It just seems like what it's a, you know it's a good price. So i was just curious to know what your opinion was. Yeah, I, I'd be happy to do a little a little homework and come and schedule a home visit and come by. Um, if that's something of interest to you, um, are you going to try to get me to sign with you? Cause I really want to do this on my own. No, I, I totally understand. And I respect the fact that you're trying to do it on your own. I'm, I'm here to help. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it by. Let's see what you got. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So I, I guess we've got a deal to help each other out. Does that sound good? Yeah. Give me your cards and then I'll, I'll put them right here. So when people walk in. Fantastic. And I will um, do a little homework and then um, re why don't we set an appointment right now for for a home visit? Okay. How does Tuesday at 6 work? PM or AM? PM. PM. <laughs> uh, that's a little late. Can it's a little hour? late. Okay. Yeah. Are you more of an afternoon person or a morning person? What, I'm more like a one effect? to five type person. A one to five type person. Okay, so let's do um, let's do Thursday at one thirty. Okay, let's do it. Okay, great. Thanks so much for your help. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Julianne, what did you think of that? Uh, it was great. I think um, you threw those extra curveballs at Stephanie. She handled them perfectly. Um, great. Like, I, I, yeah. The why haven't I heard of you or seen any of your signs? I'm like ah. Yes, yes. And then um, asking what what it's worth right now. 
um, it's, it was great to say, you know what, I'll, I can come back and, and do some research and come back and visit you. Perfect. All right. Well, let's see where you go with this. You ready? Okay. You're the agent. All right. Knock, knock. Uh, hello, this is Darren. I mean, hello. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Julianne with Keller Williams. Um, and I, I've driven by your home several times. Notice that you're, you're selling it by yourself. I am. I'm just curious why, why you guys keep stopping by my house. I mean, you're like the third person to stop this week. Well, it's an interesting home. I'm sure a lot of people would like to see it. And I'm I'm hoping that we can help each other. You're, you want to get your home sold. And I'd like to find new clients. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm not selling my, I mean, I'm selling my house, but I'm not using an agent. Okay. I, I respect that. I, um, well, I just consider myself the go-to agent in this neighborhood. I respect that you're you're selling it on your own. And I'm just curious, what do you do with the the potential buyers that aren't quite the right fit for you, for your home? Well, I mean, if they're not a right fit, then they're not a right fit. But I am curious to know, what makes you the go-to agent? Uh, well, I door knock this neighborhood. And so I'm getting to know everyone, um, everybody that answers their door in person. Um, and I do research on this neighborhood. Uh, so that's, uh, <laughs> so you must know, you must know everything about what, what, I mean, how's pricing on my home? Uh, well, I don't have it right now, but I can go back and do some research for you and, and bring it back tomorrow if you're free around the same time. Um, but I'd also like to tell you, um, that's why I'm here. I'd like to leave you with a stack of my cards. And if you have, if you have any buyers that stop by to look at your home, would you be open to be giving them one of my cards? I mean, I'm open to it. Um, just as long as I don't have to use a realtor as an agent, you know, so that's fine. I yes, think it'll be okay. You can completely be in, in control of the the sale of your home as you're you're selling it on your own. Um, and I just wanted to um find out if they're not the right fit for you, I can help them find a home that matches their needs um i mean i guess somebody has to help them so it won't be me because i just want to sell my house so maybe maybe they can absolutely sure so while you're handling the sale of your home and i'd like to thank you in return for your help with the business cards i can help you answer any questions you might have uh while you're selling your home for for free it's um price if if you have questions about pricing or paperwork, anything else, I'm here to assist you for free. Um, well, I like the I like the sound of free. <laughs> okay, great. So, do we have a deal to help each other out? Sure, I'll give you my cards. You were so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I look forward to assisting you to helping you and any buyers that come your way. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Stephanie, what did you think? You heard that whole thing. How did she do? I think she did well. I think that she um, she was able to to stay calm and to to keep the conversation going on the path, um, and she didn't get flustered, which was great. Yeah, yeah. and you, you. you had a smile the whole time, which is amazing. <laughs> yes. Yes, cool. you did. Thank you. So, <laughs> so the way that we did a couple of times, everyone, we we went back and forth like all of you did as well. Hopefully a second or a third time around, you gave a little bit of pushback too. Um, and that's exactly what Stephanie and, and uh, Julianne did. And they did really well. It's a little nerve wracking sometimes because you're knocking on a door with a stranger. But I am curious to hear from everybody else. How did it go for you? I thought it went well. We went into the comments. And so I think we got a lot out of doing that. Um, uh, things that weren't in the script that that we could do. And so I thought that was beneficial to go over the comments at the bottom. What did you guys go over? All, well, we did nine of them. So we went over. But uh, different things, you know, getting getting the vibe of how the homeowner, you know, how to t gauge how you're going to approach that homeowner. Um, 
And like Eric pointed out, um, not to use so much I, I, you know, to uh, make it instead of using that to, to kind of make sure you're um, it's beneficial to the homeowner, not what, you know, I can do this. I am that, you know, like, like you're patting yourself on the back, you know? So, but uh, what would you say, Eric? I agree. Um, we talked about everything on the comments, like how would you, position yourself and like how would you show up to this person how would you describe your appreciation for them doing it on their own I said I would use an analogy because for me I try I literally try and do everything on my own first until I fail and then I take it to a professional so I really get the Fizbo's point of view and I would just acknowledge that like I I rebuild my own engines I fix my own surfboards I do everything on my own so I, I think you really can do this. And if you ever run into a hiccup, I'm just here to help. Yep. Yep. And that's that's the purpose of this particular script is to come from a place of contribution, help mm -hmm. them when they need help, but simultaneously ask them, what are you doing with the buyers as well? Because right. we don't want them to just walk through your door and then go away. Um, and as time goes by, you know, show them that you can be that person. You can come, you can help them at a very high professional level. And chances are they may want to hire you throughout that process too. But they have to build trust. You have to build that rapport, right? Well, and also with the homeowners, they might not know the different um, things that you have to be aware of. Um, Eric mentioned the, you know, if the, the foreigner, um, is it per Perta? Perta? No, I can't. The FERPTA, the FERPTA is like one of 10 different things. Yeah. And then, um, Debbie mentioned, um, how are you vesting that your buyers are pre-qualified for a loan? Mm -hmm. Like, are so you showing your house just to anybody that knocks on the door or do you make sure they've been pre-approved first? So those are both kind of doubt questions. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And it's about nine o'clock, but I do want to touch on that. It is nine o'clock. Um, so if you need to go, go for it. Um, but I do want to mention there is like, those are some questions that we can certainly ask, you know, just out of curiosity, how are you qualifying people before they come in? I remember a long time ago, I, when I got my license in 2008, um, just after that, there was somebody that was going through people's homes. Uh, they were for sale by owners. And they weren't qualified buyers, not represented by an agent or anything like that. But what they ended up doing and getting caught for was mm -hmm. going through people's medicine cabinets and stealing prescription medication. So, and then there's, I mean, just imagine there's probably people casing the place to, you know, come back and rob them later on too. So it's, it's a safety factor too. And from a professional perspective, um, we're, we're, even though they're not our client, we're still doing what we can do to help them stay safe. Mm-hmm. So I love the doubt questions because, you know, these are things that they don't know about. They haven't been trained about. And, and if we can help them think about this from this perspective, then maybe that might help them to make a decision whether they want to hire you or not. Right. All right. That's about it for today. Any last comments before we go? Great practice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank See you, you all. See you tomorrow. Have a great weekend. Week. <laughs> Thanks week <laughs> all right talk to you soon bye all right so that's the script i hope that you found it useful just head over to realestatescriptspractice.com for more resources and downloads this podcast is for the purpose of education only and it does not make any guarantees we suggest you seek out the help of your broker, coach, mentor, CPA, or attorney. Brought to you by Darren Tunstall, California DRE number 0185345.